I have two commissions right now. Renee wanted me to start doing these videos and stuff because all the shit that's happening around the gallery and all the stuff that I'm going through and everything. And I thought, well, that would be kind of cool maybe because I'm sure there's a lot of other artists out there that you, you know, are dealing with now working where you're seeing the world completely different now. I'm working on this landscape right now. I got a commission to do a landscape by a really sweet gal and she, um, um, and I love the painting. To me, it's one of my favorites, one of my favorite landscapes. There's something just about it that I really like and it's trippy and cool and yet, yeah, I mean, it's simple, but it's really, really cool. But I'm also doing a sculpture on a dog. And I thought the dog would be something I should start my new video with because I got to get myself motivated. But the problem with this vision thing, Renee saw this whole thing on the internet that she read about this. When you start, when you're getting operated on and you can't see and your eyes are healing and everything's changing, your brain is trying to take in your whole entire environment. And what happens is you get fucking exhausted. Just dealing with the vision. If I do this, I'm legally blind. If I do this, I see. I think it's like four or five, I counted them, little images. I see four or five uh, images of everything repeated four or five times. And I remember before, like right now, it doesn't seem as bad. It's bad, but it doesn't seem as bad as when I first, you know, got was getting operated on. I couldn't believe it because I just stand up and, you know, I couldn't see and my brain was arguing with that and you can't shut it off. It's like a really bad video game that just doesn't stop. And, um, I thought, man, this is exhausting. Then, which I just got finished with, I had, they put, and a lot of people have been through this, you know, but they put an oil bubble in my eye. And he, uh, the doctor said it only be in there two months. But while it was in there, he had to do a bunch of procedures or operations, whatever they call it in the eye. And then it just, it knocks, it just knocks the shit out of your equilibrium. So I'm standing, so I'd be standing there and I do that falling back, but I wouldn't notice it until I was back too far. I was too far to catch it. I was pretty much already falling against the wall or furniture and stuff. So, so I would, you know, be standing there, like, oh, and I'd be kind of, okay, yeah, I'm alright, I'll get myself up. So Renee would hear me falling around the gallery. This is that landscape I was telling you about that I really liked a lot. I got shit on it and stuff. I gotta get this finished for, uh, the client's gonna be here, I think in like two days. So I'm kind of like, ah! I gotta get this finished. Um, the beach used to come out this far. They wanted a little, uh, little less beach, which is cool. But the thing that, that uh, I like the, when I talk to artists, like, ah, oh, I don't do commissions and shit. I'm like, how do you survive not doing commissions? I mean, if somebody wants a, a painting by you, but they wanted a certain size or shape, I go, shit, that's a necessity now. I think, you know, if you want to survive, you have to pretty much give them what they want. This uh, old days of, I'm a master, I'm a genius. I will not be bought. I think those days are gone now. I think all that macho shit, you know. I mean, unless you're, you know, those blue chip artists that are making a few million a painting or whatever. I guess they can call whatever shots they want or whatever they feel is cool. I don't know how they do it. And I don't know how I do it when I can't see shit. <laughs> So how come, how come when you, when you do video, how come when you do video it's not, you can't see the, I don't know, the, the view. Renee and I are trying to, oh, trying to find the, oh, I can't the video. It's so funny to think um, how you can't let this stuff slip by you as far as, as far as the, the digital world, regardless of, of uh, your age and if you can see or not, you have to keep freaking kicking. Kick it all the way to the grave. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. We went to the eye doctor and got really bad news. For two years I've been slipping backwards, 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 backwards for two years and I want to start kind of moving forward on something. Just stay stable. Know. Crazy mother! Hey, I'm in pain. I don't even oh, know. Oh, Parker. 
Look at him in pain. Look at him in pain. have to have two more operations on my eyes in the next two weeks. Tuesday is my first operation. And my insurance doesn't cover it. So I have to show up at this hospital. I have to prepay. And I didn't know what the hell I was going to do. But I had some friends and collectors who were interested in collecting some of my artwork. And I called them. And they came through in such a huge, massive way so that I could have this operation on my eyes this Tuesday morning. They have taken such a load off my mind, you have no idea. I just want to thank them from the bottom of my heart, tell them how much I love them, and how happy I am that they all found something in my work that they wanted, and how wonderful it was that they came through at the 11th hour so that this can all be possible. So, I just want to say how humbled I am and how grateful I am and that I want to say thank you and I love you and I hope to see you all very soon after my surgery. Hopefully I can see you very soon. Thank you guys very much.